God chose a bunch of shepherds to share the best news ever. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and hey, Merry Christmas. Yeah, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the shepherds in the Christmas story. Right, and, and I love the Christmas story. I love the story of Jesus' birth because there's so much that you would not expect. Like, I would expect Jesus not to be born in a stable, but in a castle. And, you know, maybe a big parade in his honor. Or maybe, you know, the entire sky throughout the whole world filled with angels and a big booming voice announces to everyone on the whole planet that the Son of God has been born on earth. But that's not what happened. No, God didn't announce to the whole world that his Son had been born. And he didn't even announce to the, you know, maybe most important people that his Son was born. No, the first people that heard about Jesus' birth were a bunch of shepherds. And shepherds were not especially important people. You know, they were smelly and dirty from living with sheep all the time. But yeah, sure enough, when Jesus was born, God sent his angels to announce his birth. But he didn't send the angels to, you know, the king or or to the religious leaders. He sent the angels to those shepherds that were just, you know, in a field nearby, watching over their sheep. And, you know, the angelic announcement of the Savior's birth was big and amazing and impressive, but it wasn't for everybody. It was just for those shepherds. And the angels told the shepherds that the Savior had been born. And they told the shepherds how to go find him. And so when the angels disappeared, and yet there were tons of angels. They filled the whole sky. It said many multitudes of angels. And when the angels left, the shepherds went to go find baby Jesus. And when they found him wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger, they went and told everybody that the Savior of the world had been born. The Messiah had finally come. And, you know, God can do whatever he wants to do. And so the Christmas story is exactly how God wanted it to be. And I've always wondered why he announced Jesus' birth to a bunch of shepherds. And there might have been, you know, more than one reason. There might have been a lot of reasons. But to me, it feels like God told the shepherds first to show us that that Jesus is for everybody. He's not just for kings or princes or religious leaders or, you know, the super wealthy or anything like that. God sent Jesus Christ to save everyone from their sins. And so that message of good news was given to the shepherds first, but it's also been given to us, all of us. The shepherds told everyone that the Savior has been born. And we can do the same thing, especially during Christmas time. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would Share the good news of Jesus Christ with everyone you meet, just like those shepherds. You don't have to be like very popular or or very special or very, you know, good at talking to people in order to share the good news. The shepherds probably weren't. Jesus Christ came to save everyone from their sins. And the good news of Jesus Christ can be shared by anyone. And that absolutely includes you. If you believe in Jesus, if you have been saved from your sins, then yeah, do what the shepherds did. Go tell everybody that gift is for everyone and that gift is for sharing. Merry Christmas, guys. 